Hey guys, it's time to do drill sound warm up. So I am going to go ahead and um, switch my slides while your teacher picks a drill sound leader. Drill sound leader, remember, you are going to say the letter name, the keyword, and the sound. We're going to start with our large cards. So here we go. Drill leader, take it away. A N G Fang Ang I N K Pink Ink O N G Song Ong U N K Junk Unk TH, thumb, F, fun. Now we're going to switch to the standard cards. Drill sound leader, you're going to do the same thing you always do. In class, you're going to repeat when you see baby echo. Go ahead, drill sound leader. A N G Fang Ang I N K Pink Ink O N G Song Ong U N K Junk Unk TH, thumb, F, fun. Great job, drill sound leader. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our vowel poster. We are going to, um, I'm going to say a sound, you're going to repeat me. Make sure you wait until I say all the sounds and you see baby echo. A, Apple, a, a, safe, a, your turn. A, apple, a, a, safe, a. E, ed, e, e, peat, e. E, ed, e, e, peat, e. I, itch, i, i, pine, i. I, itch, i, I, pine, I. O, octopus, ah, o, home, o. O, octopus, ah, o, home, o. U, up, a, u, mule, u. U, rule, u. U, up, a, you, mule, you. You, rule, you. Ooh. Great job. Okay, now we're going to go on to word of the day. Who can tell me how, before we read this, who can tell me how I'm going to mark this? That's right. I see an E, so I'm going to cross out my E. I'm going to put... um a line, a macron over my O because it tells me that the O is gonna say O. You can also put the VCE under it if you want. I just crossed the two out um, so that we know that the O says O. So let's go ahead and tap this word. Ready? G, L, O, B, globe. A globe, who can tell us what a globe is? Who can tell us what a globe is? Yeah, a globe is a model of the earth. It's a circle, of course, because the earth is a circle, right? It's a ball, it's a sphere, and it has all the locations of everything on it. Okay, let's practice some more words. 
Let's tap this word out. Ready? P plate. Plate. Who can give me a sentence with the word plate? Yeah, plate is something you eat on, right? Okay, ready? I'd hide. Raise your hand if you've ever played hide and seek. Let's do this one. K o n cone. Oh, it's ice cream cone season. Or it's getting there anyway. E v oh, <laughs> sorry. E v eve like eve it's short for evening it's we say christmas eve right so um and if i put an n on it it would be even right or i could put evening so there's lots of things i can make with the base eve okay let's look at this one er you ul rule so that's our ooh sound for rule. Here is what you're gonna put in your book. Um, when you have time, it goes in your octopus book in the G vocabulary section. Globe, I want to travel the globe. I want to travel the globe. So when you have time, you will put that into your um, octopus book. Make it fun. Okay, so here's the deal with make it fun today. If you are in school, um, when I flip through these cards, you're going to have someone come to the board and write them in the correct column. If you're not, you're going to want to stop right now and um, you can move them. So I will leave a slide in case you want to move them. If you're at school and you want to do that too, that's fine. However you want to do it. So what we are doing is we are looking, whoops, we are looking at these words and we are trying to decide if they have, um, a short vowel where we'll put um, them under the brev or a long vowel where they're going to go under the macron. So short vowel, a, e, i, a, a, right? Those are our short vowel sounds. And then our long vowels we've been talking all week are a, e, i, o, and u because that e, that non-syllabic final e, right? That funny, final non-syllabic E is going to make that vowel say its name. So let's see what our words are. Oh, stop doing that. Oh, that's right. The, I have to, sorry, make it small. Okay, so here we go. So our first word, someone needs to volunteer to put it where it goes. Um, I'm just going to click through these so that you can um, have the kiddos write them, rather they go, um, which column they go in. I'm going to do the first one for us, just so we all understand. Someone's going to need to read the words, so I'll pretend it's me. T -tube. tube. I see a E there, so I know this is a long vowel, so it goes over here. This word is not, not, no consonant E, vowel consonant E, so it goes right here. Okay, you guys are going to do the rest of the words. So someone's going to need to read the word and then decide whether it has the short vowel or the long vowel. If they want to put it in the column first and then read it, that's fine. Or read it, then move it, that's fine as well. So I'm just going to um, scroll through and move these. And then your kiddos can write them where they go or you can stop and move them yourself. Oops. Cover these back up so we don't get distracted by them.
Oh, this one's not gonna move for me. Okay, great job. Now what we're going to do is the next part of this is we are gonna use those same words and you guys, I'm gonna say the word and you're going to write the word where it goes. You can do this on paper or you can have them go to the board or you can have them write it on um, their whiteboard and then you can write it in the column once we've done it it's totally up to you so we're only going to do about six words so we're going to write it i'm going to say the word and you have to figure out what column it goes into so um listen carefully for what sound you hear my first word is pine pine everybody um, decide which column you think that goes in when you hear the vowel sound. P ein. So let's tap that out. P ein. Write it in which column you think it goes. The next word, ironically, is next. Everybody say next. Let's tap it out. N eh. Next. next, figure out which column it goes in and go ahead and write it. Next word is spine, 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 spine. Figure out which column that goes in and write it. Then we have the word planted, planted. Let's go ahead and tap that out. P -l and plant. So your word is planted. Figure out which column it goes in. The next word is shred. Everybody say shred. Sh er ed. Write it in the correct column. And the last word is home. Everybody say home. H o m. Home. Write it in the correct column. Great job. Now we're going to do echo find letters and sounds. For this, you are going to want your board. Um, so that you can write it. If you are using your magnetic board, you can use that as well. Um, might get tricky based on which um, tiles you were given out. Okay, so the first sound I want you to write is I want you to write what graphemes spell A. Everybody say A and then write the graphemes. Remember, graphemes are letters that spell A. Let's check it. A consonant E. Now let's write the graphemes that spell the sound, the phoneme Z. Phonemes are sounds, right? Because you talk on the phone, you hear a sound. So the phoneme Z, what is the grapheme that spells it?
Let's check it. Hopefully you put Z and S and you remembered both. Don't let me trick you with the next one. The next one is the phoneme W. Everybody say W. Write the grapheme for W. Let's check it. W comma WH. Now the next phoneme we have is K. Everybody say K. We talked about this yesterday. You guys should all know how to write K. Write the graphemes that represent K. Let's check it. C, K, C, K. The last sound before we get to our words is E. Eh. E. Eh. Let's see what grapheme you wrote. E. Good job. Okay, here's our first word. Our first word is slope. Everybody say slope. Let's tap it. Slope. Slope. Write it, give, mark it, and give us a thumbs up. Slope is S-L-O-P-E. You should have underlined the word. I forgot to do that. I'm sorry. Um, if you still want your kids marking the V-C-E underneath, that is fine as well. The next word is wife. Ready? W I F wife. Write it. Give your teacher a thumbs up. Don't forget to mark it. Let's check it. Wife is W-I-F-E, wife. The next word is the word maze. Everybody say maze. Ready? M A Z. Write it, mark it, and give your teacher a thumbs up. Let's check maze. M A Z E. The next word is Pete. Everybody say Pete. That's someone's name, so you're going to have to remember what kind of letter to use when you're writing someone's name. Let's tap Pete. Eat. Write it, mark it, and give your teacher a thumbs up. Pete is spelled capital P E T E. Last word, mule. Everybody say mule. Let's tap it. M U O mule. Write it, mark it, and give your teacher a thumbs up. Well, let's check how you wrote mule. M-U-L-E. Great job today, friends.